still on the inverter. Operation precautions. Multiple outlet power strips with switches and circuit breakers only interrupt power to the hot receptacle terminals. The neutral terminals remain powered with respect to the ground terminals. So, strip switch may be off, but part of device may still be powered. Two, initially inspect, I'm sorry, two, inspect supply connections before use to ensure they are tight and that insulation is not damaged. Do not use this inverter to power sensitive devices such as medical devices or plug-in computers. Do not use it in ignition protective areas. Some rechargeable devices can damage the inverter. Check the temperature of this device several times when it's charging. If the device becomes extremely hot, turn the power off. Move the device and do not use the inverter again. <laughs> Check for breakage of parts or any other condition that may affect the inverter's operation. If damaged, have it repaired before use. Here's number six. Do not attempt to power a device or combination of devices that will require more than the rated output of this inverter. That, this may damage the inverter or the attached devices. Appliances such as microwave ovens will normally draw more than their rated current. For example, a typical 600 watt microwave oven will draw approximately 1,000 watts. Do not attach a battery charger if the charger carries a warning that, da that dangerous voltages are present in the battery terminal. Some fluorescent lamps may not operate properly with this type of inverter. If the bulb appears to be too bright or fails the light, do not use the lamp with this inverter. Some fans with synchronous motors, synchronous motors may slightly increase in speed when powered by the inverter. This is not harmful to the fan or to the inverter. Inverters will consume some power while on, even without loads attached. Turn the inverter off after use. That means turn it off. Service precautions. Do not open housing. Contains non, no user service parts. Internal parts may be electrified even when the inverter are off and power disconnected. Maintain labels and nameplates on the inverter. These carry important safety information. If unreadable or missing, contact Harbor Freight Tools for replacement. Have your inverter serviced by a qualified repair person using only identical replacement parts. This will ensure that the safety of the inverter is maintained. Fuses may be replaced with fuses only of the same type and rating quality. Page 5, Symbology. <laughs> Here's the double square box, which means double insulated. VAC, which means volts alternating current. Alternary current, which is supply, that's the wave. Direct current supply, which is the line with the dots underneath. A is amperes. O with a thing for its phase. Equipment grounding conductor is the three, it's the circle with the three horizontal lines with the vertical down. That's page five. Page six, output waveform. It looks complicated. <laughs> Okay. Sine wave, modified sine wave comes out as a block. Got it. That's why it's digital. The inverse output is a modified sine wave. Power from most electric utilities is sine wave. Only multimeters identified as true RMS will read modified sine wave voltage electron accurately. Modified sine wave, MSW, modified. Power is suitable for most AC devices and power supplies using electric equipment. Transformers and motors do not use power sensitive devices as medical equipment or plug in computers. Some audio equipment may perform poorly if run on a modified sine wave power. Sine waves. Inverters provide power that is identical to or even better than the power supplied by your power company. Motors start easier and run cooler under side wave power. Certain devices such as laser printers, variable speed motors, and digital clocks require sine wave power to operate properly. Sine wave inverters are typically more expensive for their capacity than other inverters. Installation. <laughs> Caution. <laughs> Read the entire important safety information section at the beginning of this document including all text under subheadings therein before setup or use of this product. CAUTION! The inverter must only be connected to batteries with an output voltage of 12 volts DC. Lower voltage and not operate the inverter properly and more voltage could damage the inverter or the device being powered. Do not use this inverter and with positive electric. 
The inverter has a number of shutdown points for the safety of the, of the operator, the inverter, and the device being used with it. If the DC input voltage drops too low, the alarm on the inverter will sound. The input voltage drops further, the inverter will shut down automatically to prevent permanent battery damage. Recharge the battery soon. If DC input voltage exceeds 15 volts, the inverter will shut down automatically. If the output load power rises higher than the rating power of the inverter, the inverter may shut down automatically. The inverter may automatically shut down if its internal temperature gets too hot. Note, even though this inverter has built-in mechanism to minimize damage, these situations should be avoided because they can still damage the inverter or the battery. Here comes page 7. Turn inverter switch off. Place the inverter on a dry level, non-flammable, stable surface. Make sure the inverter has adequate ventilation and is not in direct sunlight. Two cables are supplied with the inverter. Use one. Clamp cable. 12 volt adapter cable. That looks clever. Carefully connect red to positive and black to negative. Inverter will not function with reverse connection and it and slash or battery can be damaged. Clamp cable. Oh, this one's brutal. A. Clamp cable. Connect the black wire with tab to the black negative wing nut located on the back of the inverter. Then connect the black clamp to the paint rust free ground metal surface such as the vehicle chassis. Connect the red wire with no tab to the red positive wing nut located on the back of the inverter then connect the red clamp to the batteries to the battery's positive terminal. 12 volt adapter cable. Connect 12 volt adapter to vehicle's 12 volt socket which is if they have one the cigarette light. Connect wires to the other end Connect wires at the other end to the back of the inverter. Red wire to the red positive wing nut. Black wire to the black negative wing nut. Here's the listing. Number four, battery type selection. Use only deep cycle lead acid batteries in this inverter, such as 12 volt marine slash RV deep cycle batteries. Do not use automotive engineering engine starting SLI or maintenance free wet cell batteries with this inverter they're designed for repeated shallow discharge and will wear out quick get gel and AGM absorbed glass mat batteries can be used with this inverter but they require special charging procedures refer to the batteries suppliers instruction here's battery capacity selection here's the heading inverter output about one hour discharge time minimum capacity, about four hour discharge time optimum battery capacity, 500 watts, 800 AH, 200 AH, 1000 watts, 150 AH, 400 AH, 1500 watts, 240 AH, 700 AH, 2000 watts, 300 AH, 1000 AH, 3000 watts, 450 AH, 150 AH. 4,000 watts, 60, 600 AH, 2,000 AH, 5,000 watts, 750 AH, 250 AH. Consult the chart above for approximate run time for different battery capacities. Going on to page 7, operating instructions. That was page 7.